Many Bridgestone employees who were let go are now filing for unemployment as they look for new jobs. 216 people learned last month they would be terminated and last Friday they worked their last shift. Local 5's Alex Fulton visited USW Local 310 where Iowa Works offered help to those facing hardships. I see lots of tears. Just 72 hours after the last day for hundreds of Bridgestone employees, Iowa Works stepped in to offer some reprieve. Some lady that lost her house in the Greenfield tornado, she got permanently laid off. Iowa Works brought the Mobile Workforce Center to the USW local parking lot where people could learn how to file for unemployment. So about half of the individuals who are affected by the layoff are permanent layoffs. With those individuals, we are going to be working with them to help them with that next step. So career exploration, mock interview practice. Peter Arazam with Iowa State University explained Bridgestone largely supplies tires to the agriculture sector. So when John Deere laid off workers, it had a ripple effect. If John Deere is 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 having trouble and is cutting back on production, then all all the people who supply um, inputs into the various products that John Deere produces are also going to face weakness. For former Bridgestone workers like single mom Amy Gregory, the last month has been filled with so much uncertainty. It's tough, but we manage. She's done a lot of sports and stuff, so we just keep moving. Unemployment benefits can last 16 weeks, and the amount received depends on how much the person earned and how many dependents they have. Our goal is to really help them feel comfortable and help them feel empowered and knowledge um, with the unemployment process. We want them to feel comfortable when they go to apply for their weekly claim next week. Iowa Work will be hosting a career fair for all those affected or anyone else looking for a job. That will be happening next Tuesday at the Park Fair Mall from 11 to 1 p.m. In Des Moines, Alex Fulton, Local 5 News.